Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's show, we are going to be talking about Go Go Loser Ranger Episode 2. Let's get into it, break it down, hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! I can't do this on my own, cause you know they Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. This is a fun episode where we're going to be talking about Go Go Loser Ranger Episode 2. It has been a pretty cool ride, and I have to say that this is an underrated anime show, especially if you like Power Rangers. This is going to hold you over until we get some news and an actual show from Power Rangers. But this is a good one, man. We're talking about episode two, Go Fighter D, Go Go Loser Ranger, man. Who would have thought? Go check it out on Disney+. Plus. But before we talk about episode two, let's give you a mini breakdown of episode one. In the debut episode of Go Go Loser Ranger, the Dragon Keepers face off against the Monster Army in a staged battle. However, behind the scenes, the army's leaders have been defeated, forcing their henchmen to collaborate with the rangers to maintain the illusion. Despite their resignation, one duster fighter D rebels against their slave-like role. Disguised as a human, he plans to infiltrate the dragon keepers to dismantle them from within. So the episode ends with fighter D up on a rooftop looking at a billboard of the dragon keepers and saying he is going to enact his plan it's gonna get into action he's going to become a human or at least look like a human and try to get within the ranks and take it out from the inside probably only way you're gonna take out something like that so in episode two things get a little crazy in go go loser ranger episode two the backstory of the conflict between heroes and villains unravels Earth was invaded by a floating fortress and immortal earthworldly beings. However, they can be permanently defeated with the divine artifacts carried by each ranger. This episode, we find more out about Soldier D, a member of the invading army who has infiltrated ranger headquarters under the disguise of a human applying for a position. He encounters Suzukiri and Sakurama, who previously attempted to recruit him. Through them, he gains access to the Red Ranger's base and an opportunity to assassinate him. This episode challenges perceptions, portraying the villains in a sympathetic light and the heroes as flawed individuals. The Red Ranger, despite his charm and charisma, is revealed to be a tyrannical dictator who believes in taking advantage of the weak. This skewed logic makes the viewer root for Soldier D and his comrades, who dream of conquering Earth for a purpose. However, a surprising twist at the end of the episode casts doubt on who the true enemies and allies are. Soldier D's lack of intelligence adds humor to his infiltration mission despite the show's underlying sense of hopelessness. Go Go Loser Ranger continues to captivate with his unconventional concept and complex characters, leaving viewers with unanswered questions in anticipation for future episodes. I absolutely loved it. The things that really stood out for me was they killed one of the fighters, man. Fighter F got destroyed. It was crazy. And I really didn't like these Rangers. So there is a moment or a scene, I should say, where Ranger Red and Ranger Blue, they jump on the base and they're basically saying, oh, since last fight, because in the first episode, Fighter D kind of goes around his role like they're just supposed to lose but he came back and attacked the rangers again they didn't like that so they go into their base and say listen up since you guys want to go against us we're gonna go against you and we're gonna get a hold of this guy and now we're gonna have people living on the base we're gonna have a ranger squadron here and you're gonna listen to us now so basically they really are slaves in a way this is insane so i guess Fighter F breaks out and the Red Ranger pops up and destroys him. It was absolutely nuts. And you can see it in Fighter D's eyes like that hurt. Another thing about Fighter D, like we talked about, he's not that smart and he almost got caught. 
so many freaking times, man. Suzukiri, I hope I'm saying her name right. She's cool. And there's a part where she catches him. And she knows, I guess, the whole time she was covering for him. The whole day, she said. And she wants to help take down the keepers with him. She's like, let's take down everybody. I will work with you. I'm wondering what her story is. Why does she want to take down the dragon keepers? I mean, obviously, they're more like the villains than the good guys at this point. But did they wrong her? Did they wrong her family? It's interesting, man. This is a really good story. I never read the manga, so I do not know much about it beyond what I'm watching on the show. I did read some things about it before getting into it, but this is still a fresh new eyes on this concept. And I love it, man. I want to know your thoughts, though. Let me know in the comments. Shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I just want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members out there. The Arctic Operator, Roderick Ham, Papillon Purple, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Chaos Draco, Thomas Franco, Anime King Nick, Louis Cairns, Miguel Ortiz, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. I just want to shout out all of the fans out there for taking the time out of their day to watch this content. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you can, please like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that share button. And if you guys want to be a member, click that join button right now. We have a Blue Ranger membership that gets you into the exclusive fan chat discord then we have the gold ranger membership it gets you into the fan chat but you also get a video shout out at the end of every video i want to thank you guys again if you can sign up to be a member we will see you next time peace hi hi we're bulk and skull we, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say, say something fun. Funny! <laughs>